Tonight, Aurora City Council meeting was derailed by a group of people calling on city leaders to do something about the death of Kylan Lewis. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Christensen. And I'm Kyle Clark. Alexander Lewis is along now to explain what went down at Aurora City Council tonight. Alex? Hey guys, so Aurora Mike, Mayor Mike Hoffman finally addressed Lewis's loved ones directly for the first time at the start of tonight's council meeting. Kylan Lewis was unarmed, holding only a cell phone in his hand when police shot and killed him in May. And his family and his friends have vowed to keep bringing up his story at these meetings until they get some form of justice. Here's just a little bit of what Mayor Mike Hoffman said to them tonight. I'd like to express my personal condolences uh, to the family and friends of Kylan Lewis. The loss of any life in our community is reason to mourn, and we recognize the pain of those who, who loved him. You can see he's reading there from a message that he wrote. Mayor Kaufman went on to say he recognizes people have a sense of concern and distrust for Aurora police, but that he respects the need to understand the full situation. During the public comment period, several people, including Kylan's mother, spoke about their continued search for answers. I will not stop. I will be not moved by anyone, not even the police officers, not even the attorney general, no one. Till justice is served. Now things start to escalate. When one hour public comment period ended, there were still eight people still signed up to speak. A council member filed a motion to extend the time to hear from those speakers, but the motion failed, and that's when things got heated. Yep, so the rest of the meeting happens virtually. At the last Aurora City Council meeting two weeks ago, the council voted not to offer an official apology to the family over the way Kylan died. The shooting remains under investigation.